Linus Tech Tips coverage of CES 2014 is brought to you by NCIX.com, your source for great technology, selection, and service, along with Corsair Memory and Western Digital. So we're at the Sapphire Suite, and while they didn't have anything necessarily new for me, they showed me the R9 290 with its Tri-X cooler on there that was released a little bit before Christmas. And now I haven't seen this in real life yet, and it's actually really exciting. Compared to a reference card, it's got a beastly cooler with five really big copper heat pipes running through it, three in one direction, two in the other direction, which should help cool it a lot, and it does. Under load, this card floats at around 70-something degrees in comparison to a stock card that floats at 95. This will allow you to do a lot more with it, and it kind of removes that scary feeling that your card's sitting at almost 100 degrees, which is just kind of unsettling, and I notice a lot of people don't like that. I've even seen some people not overclocking their 290s at all just because of how hot they go. You don't have to worry about that with the Tri-X card. Another reason why I wanted to come to Sapphire was just to talk about their Trix software. We did a water cooling update for 290 not that long ago where I couldn't really overclock it that much because I didn't have any power to play with. Now with their offsetting controls in Trix, which they updated fairly recently, you can actually control offsets and overclock much more. So I'm excited to test that in the future. Thank you for watching our Sapphire content, no matter how short it was. If you like all of our CES 2014 videos, be sure to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips. And as always, thank you to our sponsors, NCIX, Corsair, and WD.